Hi, this is Camel from Open Fabric, and welcome to a short introduction to the Artificial Genome Generator, in which I would like to show you how can you use this application to generate your own chromosome of a human genome and visualize parts of this genome using our 3D visualization tool. In order to generate the genome, we simply choose the proper action of generating genome, and then we are prompted with an option to choose which chromosome to generate the sequence for. At the moment, the application supports chromosome 1 and 15. Let's go with 15. Now, I'm presented with an option to choose what type of sequence I would like to visualize. In order to present in a graphic form that we are generating the genome, we've implemented a feature in which you choose a sequence in which the biggest amount of so-called single nucleotide polymorphism was generated, the differences in the DNA sequence, and we visualize that sequence using a 3D predictive model called ESMFold that predicts 3D structures of proteins. Now, there are three options here. Let's go with the first one. After that quick run, first of all, what happens is that a sequence of the chromosome 15 is generated, and then I'm picking up no, from a database of no annotated genes in chromosome 15, I'm picking up the one that fits in a specified length and has the biggest amount of SNPs in that sequence. It may take a moment, as there is a lot of operations in under the hood, but the main thing is that we take the model trained on chromosome 15 SNP data, we generate specific sequence of SNPs, the positions in which we change nucleotides, and then we take these positions and change the reference genome using these positions, which gives us a completely unique chromosome 15. That is a plausible chromosome of a human being, yet it was artificially generated. After some time, we will have the result, and we'll be able to look at a DNA structure of a specific existing gene found and research in the chromosome 15. And as you can see, after some time, we receive a 3D visualization of a gene that we also have a description for. Let me skip reading this one. And as you can see, there are a few things new happening in the visualization. You don't only have the protein structure, you also have specific points annotated in the structure. If we zoom in, we can see that these are specific amino acids. Thanks to the fact that we know the exact positions of generated, uh, the generated SNPs, we are able to map these positions when doing the translation to amino acids and know exactly where we will have a new amino acid that would not happen if we just simply rendered this specific sequence from the reference genome. Thanks to this feature, we're able to observe the specific points in the generated genome in this specific gene that we know that were artificially generated using AI. And of course, you can download all the data you'd think you'd need. And you won't only have the 3D visualization here, but you also have the whole chromosome 15 with all the new SNP position that replaced with, with their specific nucleotide substitution you have the sequence that we chosen to be visualized. You have the SNP positions in that sequence. You have everything that you could possibly need. And you can download that as easy as with a with simple one click. But this is not the only thing you can do with this application. Another implemented feature is that you can, you can also visualize the specific sequence that has the highest number of SNPs. Because SNPs, they occur very rarely in our G DNA, we thought that it would be interesting to try to visualize a sequence that has the biggest amount of these SNPs in order to give an option to see these SNPs in the specific structure. After some time, as before, the new 3D model will appear, as well as the new data to download, with the specific positions and the whole new chromosome. Each time we, we quick run, we are generating new instance of the chromosome 15. 
And as you can see, we have generated a completely different 3D visualization that has much, much more of this position annotated. This is because we have chosen the biggest, the, the sequence with the biggest count of SNPs generated in it. Each of these SNPs is mapped onto the 3D visualization, so you could exactly see which amino acids would not would were replaced in the reference to the reference genome. And of course, as before, you can download this data and play with it locally. The last option that is present here is random gene. This option gives you a possibility to simply sample one random gene from this specific chromosome and visualize it. There is a chance there won't be any annotated SNPs there, but it gives you an option to sample a random gene from the known genes in chromosome 15 and visualize it. That will be about it. I hope you enjoyed it and now know how to generate your own genome, visualize it and use it locally. I'd like to show you how can you visualize a DNA, RNA or amino acid sequence using the Artificial Genome Generator app. Since the underlying model that was implemented in this application called ESM Fold has the ability to predict 3D structure of proteins, we build a feature in which you can simply paste the sequence of DNA, RNA or amino acid and see what kind of protein after a translation it would produce and how it would potentially fold in a 3D dimension. So in order to do that, I simply choose visualize sequence action and I can choose some sort of sequence from any source I want and plug it in here. Let's take, for example, the Uniprot database that contains a lot of uh, known and well-researched proteins. And just as convenient as I want, I have a sequence of amino acids for this specific protein here. I can simply copy this sequence of letters, come back here and paste it and simply run the application. And after a few seconds, I will receive what the model predicted for this sequence to look like. And of course, if I feel I would like to save this 3D structure to my computer, I can use the option of the output to download a zip file. And in the zip file, I will be presented with a PDB file containing this predicted structure. Let's take another example. Let's say I have a string file in which I saved a sequence. Uh, this actually is a generated sequence. I can come back, paste a longer sequence as well. It may take a bit more time, but after a couple to more seconds, you will receive a 3D visualization of this protein as well. And you can see here a much larger sequence a much bigger 3D visualization. And of course, as before, I can download this structure and look at it locally without any issues. So this is how we can visualize a DNA, RNA or amino acid sequence. Just to prove that it is correct, I can also, I will just figure it out myself. I will think about it myself. Just a simple random DNA sequence, as you can see. I can also run it without any issues after some seconds. I will receive what the model predicts the structure will be after I take this DNA sequence. I transcribe it to RNA and then translate it to amino acid sequence. And then I perform the prediction. Same if I wrote an RNA sequence here, it would be translated into amino acids and then it would be visualized in a 3D form. So this is how the feature of visualizing sequence works. I hope you enjoyed it and now know how to use the artificial genome generator to visualize any sequence of your choice.